the 20 multiple choice questions on maths are compulsory. The tip number one is simply, you need to master maths bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta master it. Dude. YouTube, will it do? It's with Spencer Man. <laughs> Uh, today I'm going to be giving you guys three tips on how you can destroy the natural sciences assessment to get into Cambridge for natural sciences. Right? So um, a quick overview, right? Uh, sorry about my voice, for, like, my voice is gone in it. But a quick overview. So I got my notes right here. So the natural sciences assessment, right? It's a two hour um, exam which has two sections section one and section two. Now, section one, um, in section one, you have to answer 40 multiple choice questions. So, you have to answer 20 multiple choice questions on math and then another 20 multiple choice questions on either biology, chemistry, or physics. Right, with total to 40 and you get to pick which one out of those sciences which one out of biology, chemistry and physics you want to do but math is compulsory then in section 2 you have to answer 20 you have to, you have to answer again 20 multiple choice questions on either biology, chemistry or physics and again you get to pick which one you want to answer right? And both sections uh, last for one hour. So, tip number one is that, like, like I said before, right, the 20 multiple choice questions on maths are compulsory. The tip number one is simply, master, you need to master maths, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta master it, dude. You gotta master it, dude. Alright? You have to master that, bro. Master A level maths. And also, you also have to pick. Yeah, so I master A level math, and then, like I said before, you have to pick another science out of biology, chemistry, or physics. So obviously, along with along with mastering math, right, master pick your strongest science out of biology, chemistry, and math, and master that. Alright. So for me. Me personally, I did, obviously I did maths because maths is compulsory but I picked uh, biology for the for the other multiple choice questions so I obviously mastered well I obviously tried and aimed to master both maths and biology since those were the subjects that would be tested on in the natural sciences and mission assessment All right? so tip number one is simply master maths which is compulsory and master your chosen subject that you want to that you want to answer questions on. Alright. Um tip number two. Tip number two. You need to search online for the natural sciences and mission assessment specification and literally go through all of the uh, specification points. Go through all of that bro. Go go through all of it and master Learn and master every single point that is mentioned on the specification. You have to. You have to make sure you know everything that that could come up. You know what I'm saying? So, so like I said, like I said, tip number two. Um, search online for the specification. Uh, go through all of the bullet points for math and your chosen uh, science. So for me, that was biology. I literally go and and learn and master. All of the bullet points. You now I'm saying, G. Uh, tip number three. Tip number three. Um, tip number three is simply you need to complete and do all of the past papers for the natural sciences and mission assessment. You need to do all of the natural sciences uh, past papers. So do all of those. So do all of the past papers once you finish learning all of the content 
in the specification so once you finish learning, learning all of the content um, do all of the natural sciences and medicine assessment plus papers and also do and once you finish all of the natural sciences and medicine assessment also do um, all of the BMAT papers uh, section 2 do all of the section 2 of all of the BMAT papers and you should be good G. that's what I did so I did, I did all of the natural sciences past papers and I did all of the section 2 for the BMAT papers and by the time you've done all of those past papers you already know you already know most of the questions in it and most of the answers to those questions so it's it's inevitable that some of the past papers uh, questions will come up in your actual that of scientists and mis assessments. Cause what examiners do they just they have to recycle. They have to recycle at some point. Uh, I'm sorry the video keeps occurring up from but obviously I'm in I'm in accommodation right now from Yeah. Hold up. I mean, he actually is right, he is nice to see. Complete all of the past papers for natural sciences and do all of the section 2 uh, for all of the BMAT papers. And you should be good, bro. Oh, you gotta wait for me outside, man. Um, and also, um, along, with, along with the number 3, right? Do all of the past papers, like I said before, after you finish learning all of the content. And also do them in time conditions as well, so that you practice your exam technique, your your exam skills, and just so that you know like what to expect in the real thing. You know what I'm saying, G. And and yeah, those are all of my tips for how me personally and how you can destroy the natural sciences and risk assessment. Um, like I said, like I always say at the end of my videos, if you grind, you'll succeed. If you do nothing, you'll stay the same, G. Alright, let's kill it.